Welcome to my channel, exploring old technologies and seeing new ideas. Let's begin. We have a car 12 volt 10 amp charger. That's going to be our solar panel surrogate. That's fed into a capacitor to flatten out the DC and there's a meter across the terminals to show us what uh, clean DC we've got there inputting to the charge controller in the middle of the scene. Output of the charge controller goes to an ammeter and a voltmeter to show the power flowing into the battery. That's inside the battery pack unit. That's the blue device on the right. And there's a voltmeter across the battery terminals to show us what's coming through those cables from the charge controller to the battery and what losses there might be. And finally, we have a 60 watt light bulb that we're going to use as our load that's plugged into the inverter of the battery pack. So, firstly, we'll notice that the voltage on the battery is about 12.8. There's no current flowing out of the charge control at this time. And 12.9, uh, roughly the same voltage, a little bit of loss in the cables. And we can see the voltage coming out of the ch car charger is pretty much zero. A little bit charge left on the capacitor. We'll turn that on. That quickly jumps to 18 volts coming out of the car charger. Nice clean DC at the capacitor. We can see that we've got 13 volts at the battery. It jumps up to about a half an amp of trickle charge into the battery as things get going. And that's being delivered by the charge controller, which is managing the voltage levels. And it's set up for gel batteries. And the 13 volts, 13 half volts, reflects at the battery terminals. It's also 13 half volts. We'll now turn on the inverter for our load. Bring on the 60 watt light bulb. We can see the voltage at the battery starts to fall. Now 13.2, and we got 13.6 coming out of the charge controller with a half an amp flowing. So there's a little bit of a loss between through the cables. But we got 13.6 and 13.1 at the terminals of the battery. There's the loss, and we can see that the output of the car charger has dropped to 15 volts now that it's under load. So nice clean 15 volts going into our charge controller, coming out of our charge controller at 13 and a half volts, 5 amps, towards the battery, and that 13 and a half volts drops to 13.1 as there's some losses in the cables with the lamp load on. We'll now turn off the lamp load and see how long it takes to settle everything back. So the voltage from the controller jumps to 14. 14.1 is about the right number for a gel battery. You see the battery is starting to recover right away, so the charge controller starts to back off. And looking at the charge controller output itself, you see the 13.8. 1 amp flowing, and that current will dr slowly drop to the trickle uh, current that we've seen at the very beginning of about half an amp and the system kind of goes into a standby mode with a float voltage sitting around 13.6 and of course the output from the car charger jumps back up to 18 because there's not much of a load on it. Now we'll turn the car charger off so now there's that little reflection of the battery coming back through the system. The battery now has 13.1 volts on it because no current flowing into the battery in terms of a uh, charging current. And there's 13.1 volts at the battery terminals. So now we've got essentially a quiescent state with the charge controller turned off, no power to the charge controller, solar panel went away, and everything is as it was. Well, I hope 
you enjoyed the video and I'll be looking forward to preparing another one for you soon.